Hello, Maris. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? How are you? I'm okay. What about you? How are you? How do you feel today? Do you feel better? Mm. Yeah. Or so, better. so so. Yeah. Oh, okay. And what about your job? How was it? How was work? Good, so Very so. Good. Very busy. Good. Good. Is it raining where you live? No. It's no. not. No. No. Yeah, eh, 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 como se dice? Pringas, pringas. Oh, it is drizzling. 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 Really? Yeah. Okay. I think that that is good. Okay. But did it rain in the afternoon? Did it rain or no? No, no. Mm, okay, no all right. No, it didn't rain. Okay. No. Uh, Atilio, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Atilio? I'm fine. Very, sure. very good. Excellent. So, um, what about your job? Good? Good. Uh, um, uh -huh. Do you say atrasado? Uh, we are, you can say, um, que, que, I'm late. Está atrasado. Hello, Tony. Hello, I'm late. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm what? Late. Mm. Hunger, hunger, hunger. I'm late, Tony. Ah, uh, you have a delay. Ah, uh, do you have a delay? You yes. have, okay, oh, I have a delay good. with the homework. Mm, okay. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, we need to work on that. Okay, we need to work on the platform. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, um, today. Yes, please. Okay, today. Very good. Thank you, Atilio. Well, Tony, good evening. I, I can see that you are driving. Okay, so it's okay. Yeah, yeah don't Thank worry. You. All right, so good evening, Raul. Good evening, Abigail. Let me see who else. Tatiana. Good evening, also... teacher. Aleida, good evening. Emerson, good evening. Good okay. evening, teacher. Good evening. Good well, evening. good evening. Okay, so I can see that most of you are connecting. Roberto, good evening. Um, all right, guys. Today we are going to start with our class. We are going to have the warm up. Um, we have grammar, and we are going to study used to, be used to, and getting used to, okay? Those three phrases in the English language. We also have listening quiz, we have grammar quiz, and we have reading quiz, and of course, we have the speaking time, okay? So in this case, guys, we are going to start with sentence error correction, okay? So let's see. Uh, please identify the mistake on the first sentence. What is the mistake? Maybe it's mixed. Mm. Mix? Mix? Oh, it's very difficult. Mm, not, not mm, okay. Not exactly, Tony. The coma? The coma? Mm, no. Mm -hmm. Matching your and um, school coma, it is very difficult. Mm, okay, not exactly. Okay. Um, in this case, as you can see right here, this one is the subject of the sentence because this one is a sentence, right? So what is the mistake? The mistake is going to be it because you have the subject already. This one is your subject. So mixing job and school is very difficult. Hmm? 
So we don't need to say it's very difficult because we have the subject already. Yeah. Teacher, and yes. why uh, in the sentence we use mixing? Is not correct only say mix? No, because, because in that case, Tony, we should say to mix. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. This is about gerunds, the ing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, good very good. Good evening. Uh, okay, so now, number two, what is the mistake? Art. Maybe mm. art. Art. Mm. Okay, uh, somebody say R in the other one. Mm, hard working. Hard working. Mm, no. Lucky. Because the correct way is hard work and luck are Excellent. very important. Yes. In this case, in this case, lucky is the a incorrect use of the word, right? Lucky is going to be, you are so lucky. It's an adjective, right? But this one is a, a noun, luck. So we need to remove the Y, luck. Hard work and luck are very important. Very good. Number three. Um, boring. Boring. Why boring? Uh, because I think the the correct way is bored. Why? <laughs> because bored is when is when, for example, when uh, I refer a, a person, I refer, <laughs> and boring is the action. I think. Okay. Okay. Mm, okay, yes, you, you have the, the, the answer, okay? Very good. So boring is when you have when you are given the characteristic and bored and is when you feel in that way. Okay, so it should be bored. I'm bored in this class, okay? What about number four? The verb, the auxiliary verb. The auxiliary verb. Have. Um, have. Okay. Yes. Very good. So the mistake is this. Because remember that we don't say last weekend or we don't use this time expression with a present perfect, right? We should say I visited Niagara Falls last weekend. Simple past. Okay. Okay. What is the mistake on number five? The proposition two. Excellent, okay, so we shouldn't use that preposition, okay? It should be, I must call him immediately because we don't use two in the middle with modal verbs, okay? No. And the last one? Very. Very, okay, so it should be? Too much. Too much. Okay, so I like too much ice cream. Mm, not exactly. Mm -hmm. I like so much ice cream. Mm, no. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like uh -huh. so I, much. So much. Mm, okay. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Somebody else? That may have Maybe an idea. I like so much the ice cream. I like so much the ice cream. No. I like ice cream. <laughs> okay. In that case, guys, um, those type of phrases like very much, so very much. much, too much, they go at the end. At the end. Okay. No, okay. okay. Yeah, no in the middle. So I like ice cream very much. I like ice cream so much. I like ice cream too much. All right. I like the ice cream so much, right? <laughs> Those expressions, they go at the end, okay? Very good. All right, guys. Now let's move and let's start with the first uh, phrase that we are going to learn today. So, um, I'm pretty sure that most of you know about used to, yeah? So used to is basically an expression. It is not a tense. It is an expression that we use to talk about the past, right? So we have a short explanation right here and some examples. And who wants to read? Teacher. Thank you. Uh, the phrase used to is used to talk about past uh, habits, actions, or states that were true in the past but are no longer true in the present. Mm -hmm. For example, I used to play the piano when I was younger. She used to live in New York before moving to London. Yes. They used to be good friends, but they uh, drift apart over the years. Mm -hmm. I used to hate broccoli, but now I love it. Okay, very good. Now, in this case, um, Roberto, what is the pronunciation of this ed um, ending? Uh, I think that is drifted. Excellent, okay. Drifted, correct, okay. So, in this case, guys, used to... Well, we all know, okay, most of us know that it is used to talk about past habits, yeah? Something that you did in the past, but not in the present, yeah? And we have, I used to play the piano when I was younger. So I used to, yeah, I used to. In this case, it's like yo solía, yeah? I used to, I used to. So um, we also have, she used to live in New York before moving to London, yeah? Um, ella solía, yes, vivir, ella solía, okay? They used to be good friends, but they drifted apart, yeah? And I used to hate broccoli, but now I love it. Used to, guys, which is the structure. Let's talk about the structure. Um, let me see. Aleida, can you please help us with the positive sentence and Emerson with the negative and the question, please? Okay, teacher. Positive uh, is subject plus used to plus verb in base form and the complement. For example, I used to have lived in Santa Tecla. <clears throat> Negative. Subject plus did not or didn't used to. Mm -hmm. Verb in base form plus complement. Mm -hmm. Example. I didn't used to talk with my parent. Mm -hmm. Question. Did plus subject plus used to plus verb in base form, plus complement, question mark. Okay. Example, did I used to read that, ta that tape of books? Where did you see, where did you used to buy your lunch? Perfect. All right, guys, in this case, on this one, this one doesn't go there, okay? So we should set, I used to live in Santa Tecla because we have two verbs and we cannot add two verbs, okay? So we should say, 
I used to live in Santa Tecla. I didn't used to talk with my parents. Did I used to read that type of books? And where did you used to buy your lunch? Here, what is really important is that we need to pay attention to the following, yeah? As you can see in the positive sentence, we use used to with the letter D, yeah? But with the negative used to goes without the letter D. Why? Because we are using auxiliary verbs. The same thing happens with questions. Yeah, we have did, so we need to use used to without the letter D. Can you see? Uh -huh. Yeah, so in this case, we have positive, negative, and question. And basically, used to means solia. Uh -huh. Tell me something that you um, used to do in the past, but not anymore. I used to eat a lot of candy when I was a child. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Somebody else? I used to go to the gym um, two years ago. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Another example, Carlos Omar. Um, I used to live in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. You used to live here, okay. I used to go to the school. I used to go to the school, right. Um, I used to wake up late, right? But not anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm, I didn't used to work, right? Mm -hmm. Well, there are many things, right? All right, so now let's move and let's talk about those exercises, okay? We need to change the sentence to used to. Yeah, we have those in past. So we need to use used to. Okay, Saul lived in North Korea when he was a child. Which Saul, was Saul used, just, used to live in North Korea when he was a child. Correct, okay. Number two, Ronald was married previously. Ronald he used to marry previously. Mm, not exactly. Ronald used to be married previously. Okay. Ronald used to be married previously. Correct. Number three. Mark used to be a player and spend all his money on games. Correct. Very good. Okay, so I want you to send to the chat, okay, create number four, five, six, seven, and eight with used to. I want to, I want to see how you write number four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hmm? Okay. Used to, okay, used to, using used to. Okay, if you have questions, let me know.
Okay, Rodrigo used to work at. Okay. Okay. Number five. Okay. Prestigious. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm I'm checking number six. Okay, I'm I'm seeing like number six that you have added in different ways. Mm, I can see that some of you added Marco used to have never respect someone. Some of you, Marco didn't use to respect. Uh -huh. Very good. Nelly, Marco didn't use to respect. Mm, let me see. Give me one second. Marco didn't use to respect. In this case, it should be Marco didn't use to respect anybody. Marco didn't use to respect someone. Mm, yes, in this case, it's better to change uh, the someone or uh, in this case, uh, yeah, someone because someone is the one that we have by anybody because it's negative. Marco didn't use to respect someone. Uh -huh. Okay. Marco never used to respect someone. Okay, yes, we can say that. The old man used to help others. Okay. The game used to be very cruel. Yes, game. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. So um, the game used to be very cruel. The, the old man always used. Oh, Aleida. Um, since it is a question, the used to should go without the letter D, okay? Uh -huh. Okay. 
with the, without the letter the letter d the, yes the word use correct in without. this case did did the old man always use without d okay, okay. yeah without d emerson the old man used to always Mm, verb in base form help others help others Emerson without ed because um even though we add the advert of frequency but that doesn't affect our past right our base form mm -hmm. okay um all right, do you have questions? Do you have doubts? And the last one, teacher, the game used to be very cruel or the game used to use it to be very cruel? Uh, the game used to be. To be very yes. cruel. Used, used to be. be. Yeah, used to be because this one is the verb and we pass it to, to present, used to be, uh -huh, like that. Very good. Okay, so now let's move to the second expression, which is be used to. Remember the previous one was used to, and this one is be used to, yeah? So, as you can see right here, we have be. So that gives you the idea that is the verb to be. And yes, it is the verb to be. So the previous one, um, it is used to talk about the past. But what about this one? Okay, uh, Tony, can you please help us reading? Yes. Be used to is used to say that something is normal or unusual. Mm -hmm. For example, I am used to living in Santa Ana. I am not used to live in Santa Ana. Mm -hmm. She is not used to drinking water. We are not used to speaking French. Mm -hmm. They are not, they are used to talk English class. Oh. To take in, thank you. Mm -hmm. to, take, to take in English classes. Perfect. Okay, guys. So be used to is used to say that something is normal or unusual. It depends on the idea, if it is positive or negative. Yeah. So um, one of the most common mistakes that we sometimes make is like, for example, saying, um, I am used to wake up early. I am used to drink water, right? El be used to is basically, yo, es, yo suelo, yo estoy acostumbrado a, yeah? So I am used to drinking water with the ing, always, okay? So let's take a look at the structure, okay? So we have right here, okay? Subject, verb to be, it could be am, is, or are, plus used to, plus the verb in ing, plus complement. They are used to working long hours to meet deadlines. And that is true. Sometimes you are used to working long hours to meet deadlines. Negative subject, verb to be in negative, of course, used to verb in ing plus complement. I am not used to waking up early in the morning. Yeah, you see, I am not used to waking up early in the morning question we start with the verb to be subject used to verb in ing plus comp is your dog used to being around other pets or does it get anxious 
And as you can see, use is always with the letter D. It doesn't change. It doesn't change. Yeah. Used to, used to, and used to. And this means yo suelo. Yo estoy acostumbrado a. In the previous one, yo solía, past. In this one, yo suelo, yo estoy acostumbrado a. Mm -hmm. Do you have questions? In this case, mm, three, four, ing. 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 Okay. Yeah. Verb in ing. It is mandatory, okay? We cannot use base form because if not, it is incorrect. Very Teacher? Good. Yes? Teacher, in this case, uh, always be a uh, bear uh, regular. Mm. What do you mean by that, Carlos? Uh, eh, que si en este caso siempre va a ser verbo con que termine con el, el gerundio ing ah, with gerund with ing yes always always oh, okay okay always yes thank you okay perfect yes always okay mm -hmm. any other doubts If not, let's move to the activity, okay? So I need to create three positive sentences about things that you are used to doing. Three. I am used to drinking coffee in the morning, etc. Three, and send them to the chat. Don't forget the structure, guys. Don't forget the structure, okay? In positive, teacher. Yes, positive. Things that you are used to doing. Yes. Thank you. In this class, the English. <laughs> Okay. I am used to exercising every day. Yes, Maurice. In the morning when I wake up, I always, mm, okay, Atilio. Pero en este caso, tenemos que utilizar, we need to use the structure. We need to use the structure. So, oh, we okay, need to, okay. Uh -huh. okay, okay. 
I am used to drinking coffee every morning. Okay, Carla. I am used to eating at, at eight o'clock. Yes, very good. I am used to working all day on weekends. Okay, Carlos. I am used to studying English every day. Yes, just capital E, English, proper noun. I am used to dancing in the party. Okay. I'm used to studying, mm, Carlos Omar, studying without E, studying English after school. I am used to cycling to my job. I am okay. used to walking a lot every week. I am used to sleeping late every day. Okay. We are used to sleeping late, right? Every day. Yes. I am used to going to the beach in, on my birthday. I am used to going to the beach on my birthday because it is a, a special date. So it is on my birthday. She lives in a big city. She is used to traffic jams. Okay. I am used to taking my breakfast at 6 a.m. I am used to checking my agenda. I am used to reporting. 14 result. Um, just the letter I, Emerson, should be capital letter. They are used to working until noon. I'm used to praying in the morning. Perfect, Atilio, like that. Mm -hmm. Yes. I am used to going to the beach on my birthday. Yes. Okay. Uh, we are used to enjoy. We are used to enjoying in out. Uh, it's our. <laughs> oh. Our childhood. Mm -hmm. I am used to drinking coffee. She's used to watching TV at night. Mm, they are used to making the breakfast together every Sunday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Tony just uh, night, which is H T. H T. Yeah. Ah, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Night. Ah, al revés. Okay. Yeah, the other way around. Okay. I am used to drinking coffee. Okay, Jonathan, just coffee with double E. Mm, I am used to drinking coffee before starting ING, my job. ING with a start. Because um, guys, if you remember, we always use ING before, before, okay? Or after before in this case. I got used to checking the car before traveling. Okay, that one is in pass, but it's perfect. Teacher, just a question. Yeah. Uh, if I use more more than verbs in the sentences, always the verb will be with ing. For example. As uh, my example, okay. Let me I'm go. used to drinking coffee before starting my job or before I start. Mm -hmm. Oh no, okay. So in this case, uh, this one is your example, right? So Jonathan, before, um, in this case, whenever you use a verb after before, we should always use it with ing. It is a rule. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
And also whenever you use after. Uh -huh. You need to use a verb in the ING. For example, después de enviar los correos, after sending the emails, I need to go to the party. Okay, thank you. Yeah. These rules applies and with before and after. And after. Or only with before. No, with before and after. Okay. Before yeah. and after is complementing with ing with the um, the verb with ing. Okay. Always. Yes. I am used to drinking milk. Yes. Very good. Okay, guys. Excellent. Any other doubt that you may have? No? Okay. Let's move. Okay. So remember, we covered um, used to. Right now, be used to, which is about something in the present. And the other one was in the past. So let's move and let's talk about this. Getting used to. When do we use getting used to? Um, Tony, help us reading positive sentence. And Jonathan, negative in question. Okay. Okay. Positive. Subject plus am, is, are, plus getting used to, plus, plus verb in, ing, plus complement. Yes. Um, hasta yo me confundí. Subject yes. and ING, getting used to verb, verb in ING complement. Okay. For example, he is getting used to the idea of being a part and taking care of a newborn. Yes. Negative form. Mm -hmm. Subject plus I'm not, is not, are not plus getting used to, plus verb in ing, plus complement. Example, he is not getting used to the idea of being a parent and taking care of a newborn. A question form, um, is are plus subject, plus getting used to, plus verb in ing, plus complement and question mark. Yes. A sample. Is he getting used to the idea of being a parent and taking care of a newborn? Newborn, thank you. Okay, this one is kind of long, but it's really simple, okay? Maybe the, the sentence is kind of complex, but it is really simple. So basically, the getting used to means that you are becoming familiar with something that you are not familiar with, all right? So basically, it's like saying, me estoy acostumbrando a. Yeah. So you are becoming familiar to something you are not familiar with. And the example is, he is getting used to the idea of being a parent and taking care of a newborn. Yeah. But... Another idea, which is kind of uh, more, I would say it is better, it will be, I am getting used to waking up early. It's not that complex, right? Or I am getting used to working in that company. I am getting used to joining classes in the morning. I am getting used to presenting results every Friday. So you are becoming familiar with something that you were not doing before. So you are becoming, you are in the process of getting familiar. For example, you are getting used to learning new grammar structures. You are getting used to learning new vocabulary. 
you are getting used to studying English at night. Uh -huh. So you are in the process, yeah, of becoming familiar. And we use getting used to. And the verb in ing. I am getting used to drinking more water. She is getting used to eating healthy. We are getting used to speaking in English. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have any questions? In this case, it is necessary that after the two, uh, it comes the, the, the verb with ing. It is necessary because in that sentence, in the one that you can see right here, I'm pretty sure that you have that doubt because you see this, right? But yeah, um, in this case, the verb is this one. I mean, taken. Okay. But yes, it is necessary. I mean, that the verb goes in the ing. Yes. It is. It is mandatory. But but we can put, for example, a, after getting used to the complement and a, after the the verb in in, in in ing. Yes. It depends okay. on the idea, of course, right? Yes. But the verbs goes in ing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um. What else? Mm. Okay. Do you have any question about this right now? Maybe just an acclaration uh, yeah. or acclaration. ¿Cómo se dice acclaration? Acclaration. Acaba de salir como, como trafficación eso. Pero bueno. <risa> ok, Tony. Yes, tell me. You can say, Tony, instead of saying, just to clarify. Okay? Clarify. Ok, aclaración. Sí, me salió bien en eh, Open English. Clarify. Bueno. <risa> Tony, ok. Pollo, repollo. Ok. En um, in, in este caso, cuando we used getting used, we need to add the ing. Yes. Um, no, it's not necessary to, let me see. Um, no, it's simple. Did you say that it's long but simple? The subject, the verb, the ing, and the complement. Yes. Um, the, the, the getting used to and the ing. Correct. The with ing. Okay. So it's, it's so long, but. but it is long. Mm -hmm. It but is. It's comprehensible that we need to add the verb with ing. Okay. All right. Okay. Perfect. All right. Uh, any other doubt that you may have? So what we are going to do right now is the following, okay? And just for you to probably, uh, or for us to reinforce, yeah? Getting used to indicates that something is becoming familiar, as I was explaining, right? So look at this. I am getting used to living with my new roommate. I am getting used to living with my new roommate. I am not used to right now. I am getting used to. The baby is getting used to sleeping through the night, right? She is getting used to the new job responsibilities and finding her rhythm. They are getting used to the changes in their daily routine since starting school. 
she is getting used to the long commute to work by listening to audiobooks. The team is getting used to working remotely and finding ways to collaborate effectively. Yeah. So as you can see, we have ideas where are where are um, which are really simple. Yeah, like this one. But we also have ideas which are more complex, right? So the simple ones are these. The more complex, mm, I would say that are those, but it's just because of the idea that you would like to express. I mean, if that is the way, we cannot change it. That is the way, right? Mm -hmm. So in this case, um, getting used to, just remember, indicates that something is becoming familiar and you need to pay attention to the structure because um, they are similar with the other ones, right? Tony. Teacher, in the number five, she's getting used to the long commute to work. I, I think that it's possible to, to say commute to working by listen to listen to audiobooks. Yes, and let me tell you why, okay? Because this one to work, I mean, it is not as a verb, it is as a noun. So in this case, even though we don't see the ing, for example, she is getting used to, and we see just a phrase. And then we have by listening to audiobooks. In this case, I can say that sometimes it is not necessary well, that we add an ing verb. No es necesario ponerle un ing aquí, sino que podemos hacerlo con una, um, con una phrase, con una frase larga. Que en este caso, to the long commute to work, es una frase que ya está establecida. Porque todos nosotros, we commute to work. Al trabajo. Como noun, su trabajo. No viene como trabajar, de acción. Viene como noun. Entonces aquí, sí se podría decir to work. ¿Ah? Al trabajo. No a trabajar. Uh -huh. So it's about, um, I would say grammar. In this case, it's about grammar. It's merely grammar, those things. Pero siempre que llevemos un verbo, siempre tiene que ir en ING. Pero en este caso, llevamos la frase. Entonces, to the long commute to work by listening to audiobooks. Mm, let me see. Yeah, it is a phrase. Es una frase. Another way to say the same idea, como la otra idea que podríamos poner, okay, si quisiéramos hacerlo con el ING y no con la frase de trasladarnos al trabajo, Yes, sería, she is getting used to um, going. She is getting used to going to work, yeah, by listening to audiobooks. Or But traveling to work. Or traveling to work, or moving to work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in this case, always work is a... Um, it's a noun. No, no, it's Correct. An no, it's not an action. It is because you, don't, you you can say to the job. You know, in this case, we can also remove right the long commute, and we can mm -hmm. say she is getting used to commuting to work. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. But the phrase is commute. I mean, because we have mm -hmm. the long commute, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Any other doubt that you may have right now? Something else? Um, okay, let's let's create three sentences, okay? So we can go ahead and probably clarify all of your doubts. So remember that the first structure was to talk about the past, right? He used to, um, he used to eat chicken, okay? He used to eat chicken. That one is past, past habit, right? Yeah, that one was the first structure. The second structure, something that you are familiar with, you are, okay? So he is, uh -huh, used to what? Eating chicken. So this one is um, what? Present, I would say present, okay? That means that you are familiar with. It is something you do, right? Mm -hmm. Now with the third structure, we are saying he is getting used to eating chicken. That means that he is not familiar with that, not familiar. Not familiar in the process, yeah? Uh -huh. In the process. So those are the three structures that we have, that we have studied so far, right? Because we have more, but that we have studied so far. So this one, él solía comer pollo. Él suele comer pollo. Present. Él se está acostumbrando a comer pollo. You see? Present, well, past, present, and Mm, something that is in the process for the future. Mm -hmm. Any doubt? Something that is not clear? Mm -hmm. No? Okay, so then I need you to please create three positive sentences about things that you are getting used to. Right now, I think that we have some things that we are getting used to. Yeah, at least three at work, right? At work or in your personal life, etc. Yeah. Three, three sentences.
Okay. Mm -hmm. I am getting used to studying at night mm -hmm. with the letter Y, ING. Okay. She is getting used to eating vegetables, vegetables, the spelling. They are getting used to working in group. Okay. I am getting used to, um, Emerson, I am getting used to waking up. ING. Remember the verb in ING. I am getting used to walking to work, okay? Or commuting to work. Yeah. Very good. I am getting used to playing baseball on Fridays. Mm. Carlos Omar, la letra F, the letter F in capital letter. Okay. Yeah, proper noun. I am getting used to living in a new, in this new room. Mauricio, Maurice, I am getting used to using this car. Okay, mm, use the letter I, I, okay? Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm getting used to living alone, yes. Aleida, use the apostrophe, Aleida, between I and M. Emerson, Emerson, you are missing the verb to be. I am. I am getting used to eating more fruits um, in my day. In this case, on my days. Or on my day. Or during my, my day. Or through the day. Okay. Try getting a dog. Cat or chicken. Okay, when I am getting used to waking up at 6 a.m., I am getting used to watching movies. I am getting used to going to the gym. Mm -hmm. Perfect, Roberto. I am getting used to eating rice and beans. All um, I am getting used to eating rice and beans at night. All at night. Okay. They are getting used to changing fruit for vegetables. Yes. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> we must go forward, getting the better of all obstacles. Mm. Okay, Wendy, but you need to use the structure, Wendy. I am getting used to reading more books. Uh -huh. I'm getting used to, I'm getting used to making exercise every morning. Yes, Tony. She is getting used to waking early, waking up early every Monday. Yes. We are getting used to playing Monopoly on Saturday night. Uh -huh. Very good. Yes, correct. Mm, yes. Okay, very good. Um, let me check something. Yeah, I'm going to... Okay, I am getting used to English classes. Uh -huh. Very good. Yes, that is correct. You are getting used to English classes. That is correct. We are getting used to the hot weather. We are getting used to. Um, all right, so I think that we are ready to take the first quiz. Yeah. So let me send it to you, okay? The first quiz is going to be the following. Let me send it to you. So yes, this one is about used to 
and simple past. This one is just about used to. The first one that we covered, the very first one, if you want open the class, okay, and you can um, maybe just check the, the structure, okay, if you want. Um, let me send the link. The passcode is going to be, I'm getting used to using my new equipment. Yes, I'm getting used to practicing rowing. Yes, I'm getting used to drinking coffee. And yes, she's getting used to learning. Okay, okay, there you go. So in this case, English 2023 is the passcode. Remember, this one is about simple past and used to the first structure. I'm going to I'm going to share my screen just in case. And we are going to have five minutes. Teacher, I don't know if I am in the correct quiz mm -hmm. because what do you have? I mean, let me see. Yes, teacher, see. because uh, uh, the you soon don't appear in the in the questions. Mm -hmm. There are different questions. It's simple pass only. Mm. No, I have in the second question, why did you go to the library? Ah, yes, but you need to scroll down. You you will have used to it, like. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, on the, on the next ones. I mean, there are some questions that are used in past and then used to as well. Mixing, okay. right? Yeah. Okay.
Okay. I got Sandra, Vladimir, let me see. Mm -hmm. Aleida, okay, let me, let me see. Mm -hmm. mm. Roberto, let me see Roberto. Okay. In the fight, the, the mistake was the, the question mark. Only. Yes, yes, it was the question mark. Okay, Luis, let me see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Emerson, okay, Nelly, perfect. Okay, let me see Nelly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jonathan, okay. Mm. Let me see which one fail. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got Jose. Okay. Mm. Let me check. George, I got yours, I got Eduardo. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have any questions? Is there something that is not clear? Something that you would like to know about the exam? Uh -huh. teacher yes um for me i think it's a little difficult to identify uh, when is used to be used to and getting used to but i consider that i know the topic and i i can create different sentences but to identify i get confused you get confused okay um let's see okay let me let me see where is this one okay let me share my screen okay let me share my screen okay guys um yes i think that this is the one yeah all right Take a look at this, okay? Um, in this case, well, those um, that you can see right here are just for uh, vocabulary, okay? To see if you know about prepositions. Well, I don't know if, if, if I'm... Are you uh, able to hear me? Yes. Okay. 
So in this case, um, those are just for you to um, check your vocabulary, right? Those like number one and two. Okay, well, number three, but I'm going to tell about this one. Are you familiar with this area? Never buy, never for, okay, with this area. Why, why do you go to the library? To get some books to read, right? To get, yeah. Which sentence is in the simple past? Okay, this one is not, um, I mean, this one is the correct, but this one is in simple present. This one is, which tense is this? Past person, present, present, present perfect. perfect. Correct, okay, so this one is the one in simple past, right? She read. Choose the correct question. Okay, I saw that some of you fail on this one. Remember that if we have did, we should not use the verb in past. It should go in base form. Do you see here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now this one, right? Form the question in simple past and you have the the words. So in this case, you didn't have the question mark and some of you fail on the question mark because since you didn't see it, you didn't add it. But we need to add because it says form the question. Here, okay. This is very important. Take a look at the sentence. I space the cake you made me last week. Last week is a time expression that we use for the simple past. So it is not didn't use to love. Because if not, we were saying, yo solía amar el pastel que me hiciste la semana pasada. But it doesn't make sense. No tiene sentido. Yo solía Amar el pastel. No, yo amé el pastel que me hiciste la semana pasada. That is simple past. Whenever you see the time expressions last week, in this case, is simple past. Number seven. My mother used to cook on Sundays. Uses no. Used to, no, because the structure is used to. The structure is used to. Used to. No uses. No use without the D. It is used to. And which one is the correct one? This one, because it is used to. No uses. No use without the D. Now this one, did you use to a space? And we have different options. Okay, it cannot be swimming. Most of you added swimming, most of you. But let's take a look at the structure for used to. Did subject used to verb in base form plus complement. Okay, we don't have ing. And take a look at the question. Did you use to verb in base form, swim? The same thing, Alison used to, cannot be been, no, because the structure for used to, it is subject, used to, verb in base form and complement. So take a look at that. Subject, used to, verb in base form and complement, B. Mm -hmm. And this one that was about vocabulary. 
So how long ago did Jane and Ted get married? A tip, how long ago is always for the simple past. How long is always for the present perfect or present perfect continuous. How long have you been learning English? How long have you studied English? How long ago is simple past? Yeah, and we have simple. ¿Cuánto tiempo hace? Hace cuánto tiempo. Ah, okay. Y el otro es cuánto tiempo. O sea, de ¿Cuánto contar. tiempo? Correct. Simple past, present perfect, present perfect continuous. Yes, so what you need to probably learn to identify, I mean, the structure. This, yeah, the structure, right? So this one was just for the used to, but tomorrow I'm going to reinforce the topic and you will have used to, um, be used to and getting used to. So in this case, we need to learn the structures. Because yeah, it, it is not the same like, um, speaking than taking the test. It is more difficult taking the test, right? Yeah, because of the structures. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Do you have any other doubt? Somebody else? Very similar. Okay. My recommendation, guys, is that mm, maybe an easy way for you to learn those three structures that we have learned is that you learn one sentence for each topic, right? I used to live in Santa Tecla and create that one with the be used to. I used to live in Santa Tecla, okay? Um, I am used to living in Santa Tecla, getting used to. I am getting used to living in Santa Tecla. Learn those three sentences, and then when you have the exam, picture the structure here, right? And you take the exam following the structure that you have here with those three sentences. Because sometimes we are not able to learn subject, use to, verb in base form. It is, it, that is not true. That's, I mean, I, I learned those because I'm a teacher, but sometimes you as a student, you don't learn structures, right? I mean, you learn how to speak. So it is an easy way for you to picture those three sentences. And then with those uh, three sentences, you take the exams and you follow. Okay, so how do I say this? I am getting used to, okay? And you start like talking to yourself according to the topics, right? That will be a, a tip for you to identify and learn the interpretation in Spanish as well. So that will be easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so any doubt? Something else they would like to know? Yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, guys. Now, Let's move and we are going to practice is speaking. Yeah. So you can practice what we have learned and look at this. Look at the questions. Okay. What is a food that you used to hate, but now you like? Did you used to get good grades in high school? Did you used to have any hobbies that you don't have now? Okay, and then we are going to move to those. Did you used to have any favorite TV shows or movies? Which ones? Yeah. And here, guys, you also have this one. What are some things you are used to doing every day? Are there any foods or dishes that you are used to eating regularly? I mean, you're going to practice with all of the structures that we have learned. And I'm pretty sure that you are going to be able to answer it, 
right? Because speaking is easy sometimes. But I'm going to take the attendance, okay? So say present once you uh, hear your name, okay? So here we go. Aleida Esmeralda Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Omar Linares Cañas. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy. Present miss. Thank you. Jonathan Gonzalez Dominguez. Present. Thank you. Um, George Antonio Sanchez Quiñones. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elias Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Present. Thank you. Kenya Elizabeth Rodríguez Celaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Miguel Corbera Enríquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Yes. Present teacher. Thank you, Maurice. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade Garcia. Present. Eh, Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Mm, let me see Pablo if, if Pablo is here. Pablo, Pablo, yes. Um, Juan José Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Jordán. Present. Roberto Esaú Celaya. Present. Thank you. Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Sandra Abigail. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. I am here, Miss. Okay, thank you. Eh, Wendy Maricela Ramírez. Present teacher. Thank you. And Wilbur Jonathan Bautista Aguilar. Okay. All right, guys. Let's practice for around, I think, a couple of minutes, 10 minutes or 15 minutes, and we are going to come back because we have um, different activities, okay? Let me see. <laughs> so I, I'm gonna share the, the screen, right? When my mom may... okay. can you okay, see Carlos? You. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, the first one is uh, what is a food that you used to hate but now you like? Um and como se dice. <laughs> Pacaya en inglés. <laughs> pacaya. Pacaya is pacaya, I think. Uh, okay, pacaya. Uh, pacaya. And now I like pacaya. You uh, like pacaya, but pacaya, no. Yes, I like to. Uh, uh, I, I didn't like. I, I don't like it. Eggplant. Eggplant. 
You like eggplant? I like eggplant. Well, it's delicious. Yeah, it is delicious. It is delicious. I don't like pakai. <laughs> but in my case, uh, I, didn't, I didn't used to eat uh, mushrooms when I was a child. Mm -hmm. And now I, I, I like it. I did the mushrooms. You like the I, mushrooms? Okay. Yes. Obviously, for example, with uh, another meal, for example, food, uh, like in pasta, in pizza, I like it. I like it. Mm -hmm. They are delicious. Yes, yes. Okay. 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 Uh, the, the next one is, do you see to get full grades in high school? Do you, sorry, do you use to get full grades in high school? Good grades. Good grades. In my, in my case, when I was a, a child, a boy, in, when in the Tercer, quinto grado, I don't oh, know. Fifth grade? Fifth grade and sixth grade, almost to eight, eight, eighth grade, I didn't use to to, to get a good grade, but in, in bachillerato. High school. Yeah, okay. In the high school, uh, I start to, to... I to started? Have, I started. I started to get a good grades. Mm -hmm. yes. In my case, yes, I think yes, I good grades. And in high school, in high school, I I was a good student. <laughs> you were um, really dedicated. Oh my God, Carlos! And now, yes, uh, I'm I'm very disciplined. disciplined. I was. I was, I was very disciplined. Yeah, I was very disciplined. Uh, and, and responsible. Uh, I, I think, yes, I, I... High school, yes, I had good grades. I used to have good grades. In my case, when I was a child, a, I used to get, yes, a, a good great even in high school to eat fish and any type of combination and now you like yeah. it uh, yes okay another type of food that you hate before mm. uh, uh, are you in case to... the 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 national flower <laughs> uh, <laughs> i used to when i when i was young uh -huh. i used to hate the soap eat soap okay soap. Oh. what kind of soap mm -hmm. uh Oh, so, oh, um, okay. okay, let's let's go. Did you used to have any favorite TV shows or movies? Which ones? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't used to have favorite shows because I always uh, was playing on the street or I don't know um, visiting some friends when I when I was younger. So I I didn't watch much TV. Mm -hmm. You? Mm -hmm. 
in my case. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. Go ahead. In my case, yes. Uh, you should use to watch the supersonic. Yeah. I'm favorite. My favorite. Yes. My favorite. In my case, I used to have a favorite TV show. Yes, uh, for example, the Pinkston. Pinkston. Uh -huh, lo pica piedra. Okay. Ah, and what do you used to do during your summer vacation as a child? Oof. I used to play all the day. <laughs> mm -hmm. With my friends. Just play, right? Play, 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 play. I sleep, eat. <laughs> no worries, right? At no all. Worries. No worries at all. Okay. Although I, I I didn't eat so much because I forgot just for be playing. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Yeah, I just. I just um took the pre breakfast, lunch sometimes, and always the dinner. But mm -hmm. I, I always miss the, the lunch. Mm -hmm. So oh. my my grandmother uh how do you say Ranyal? Scold me. Uh, my grandmother scold me Oops. <laughs> every day. Mm -hmm. Uh because she served me the food and the food. You didn't and eat it. I didn't eat it, but I I se quedaba en la mesa. So the food just stay um at the table. Yes, the food stayed on the table. Mm -hmm. Imagine. And did you eat it or it, it was just there? Uh it just was there. Um um she saved them she saved it but it was bad for me because i leave the food just for be playing mm -hmm. and then i think that you had to reheat it right yes i reheat it uh -huh. okay mm -hmm. okay in, in my case in, in my vacation, I had to work 